One billion people in our world today will live their entire lives without ever seeing a doctor. In some countries, one out of 10 children will not live to the age of five. 300,000 women will die in childbirth this year alone. Yet a global movement of community health workers is arising to meet this need. A community health worker is someone who lives in your village or neighborhood, has basic health training, and works with a hospital or medical center to check up on you and your family. When Josh Desbitt was a sophomore in college, he spent a summer volunteering overseas. His experiences changed the trajectory of his life and helped transform the lives of tens of millions of people without healthcare. When I was 19, I was an undergraduate at Stanford and I was sure that I wanted to be a doctor. I was volunteering at a hospital in Malawi and at that hospital, there was a single doctor providing care for a quarter million people. I met a community health volunteer named Dixon he was walking 30 miles to the hospital to provide updates about what was happening in his village, and then walking back home. And he was doing that every week. I went out to have dinner with him one day in his remote village. I looked down at my cell phone, and I had six bars of coverage. Better cell phone reception than I had in Palo Alto. I realized in that moment that if we could figure out a way to connect Dixon and other community health workers like him, using cell phones to the hospital, he could save time and the hospital would know what was happening in these villages. I am not a software engineer, but back at Stanford, I met a developer who was building the exact software that we needed to connect this hospital to the health workers. I emailed 200 cell phone companies and one replied and provided 100 phones as a donation. I put those phones into a backpack after engraving ID numbers using my grandfather's engraver, flew back to Malawi, and we trained those community health workers to do basic text messaging to bridge the gap between these villages and the hospital. Six months later, we went back to see what had happened with that communication system. They had doubled the number of patients they could treat for tuberculosis. They were coordinating care in totally different ways. Since then, we've built the open source software toolkit that we've reused in over 100 health systems across 23 countries, now supporting 16,000 community health workers, providing care for 10 million people around the world. In Guatemala, we're supporting these health workers as they're doing nutrition monitoring for children. The app is guiding community health workers to create profiles for every child, and then giving them automated scores about how each child is doing to make sure that the right children at the right time get the extra help that they need. Estoy muy agradecido con el uso de la tecnología para poder trabajar mejor con los niños. Estoy muy emocionado con el servicio que nos da el tablet porque nos ayuda bastante a hacer el trabajo corto y rápido. If I look out in the next five years, the software will help those health workers deliver care for more than 100 million people. The year after that, another 100 million. So we are really scaling up because there are health workers who are out there on their own doing the best that they can to provide care, and we need to get these tools into their hands.